We're back to playing random. I might still pick some Indian sieves. Oh, I got Dravidians. Okay, that's nice. I might still pick some of those types of sieves. Uh, now and then if I feel like it. But I think we're. I need to play with other sieves as well. Catch up. So we'll, 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 we're kind of back to random now. But I might do the old Indian pick here and there. I feel like trying something specific or something like that. Let's say opponent has 110 handicap. He gathers everything 10% faster. Oh, so 200% handicap means he does everything 200% faster? Oh, that, that has to be impossible, no? Extreme AI with 200... So let's say three times everything compared to you. That sounds really hard. Uh, the save that can garrison sheep is Gurjars, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Is a farming Kapach Street? Punto? Nah, I'm pretty sure Kapach. Last game just kind of went well for me at some point. I'm pretty sure Kapach probably plays better than me right now. Oh, it's not 3x. Wait, so it doesn't go up to 300%. When you said 200%, I thought you meant 200% more. So it's only 200%, so they have double, essentially. still think it sounds really hard. You ever hear updates on AV4 AI developing like the stock of AI? I have not heard anything, no. Didn't know they were doing that for AV4. I'm Dravidians. I'm gonna do the scout opening. I'm telling you guys, Dravidians meta will be scout opening. I've played this save three times now, and I already know that scouts is gonna be the meta. In GL data for is nothing at 200%. I have no idea. Use the three monitor setup. Yep. I have one like a vertical monitor on the right side, and then I have two normal monitors on my front and left. On the right side, I have like my Facebook overview, I have Discord, uh, whatever information I need to have easy accessible on quick glances. Left side, I have my OBS. I have the chat. All that stuff. In the middle, I'm playing. My board timing here is off. What's it see? Vikings. This feels like a tough matchup, no? I feel like this is a, oh, he has a pretty bad gold. The first impressions feel like this should be a tough matchup for Dravidians. Need to check the tech tree. Two in the wood. Barracks are cheaper. Skirms and elephant. Oh, actually, skirms firing fast. Maybe it's not too bad. Then you have the woods. You have the swordsman that is pretty good. Maybe this isn't that hard of a matchup as I might have anticipated initially. All three screens connected to one PC. Yes, sir. Quite tough, you get strong. Yeah, that was like first impressions. I think we have some counterplay for sure. After reviewing the tech tree in more detail. Mm. Let's do that. What PC do you use? My, my PC. Uh, are you talking about specs as in terms of CPU, graphics card, etc.? 
Uh, why do you delete quick walls even though you often have to remake them later on on resources like Golden Wood? Because I don't want them there interfering with my development, but if the guy enemy comes back in all the time, I have to kind of rewall. But in theory, it's it's a little bit habit. Also, walls used to be cheaper in the past, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, partly habit, partly wishing to keep no constructions. Keep a nice workflow in the wor keep a nice work environment for my villagers. Because it looks better without them. Exactly, work environment. Don't you want to work in a place that looks nice? How's the steak snake? The snake... No, the steak was good for the snake. Oh boy, he's like now... Okay, where are the men arms? Where are the men arms with the archery range follow-up? Debated. People still don't know the meta. They are about to find out and learn the hard way. Only issue is if he goes my arms, then I'm kind of fucked. If I see my arms coming in now between this gap, I'm gonna be scared. Shit. Um, so this is why you should not go man scouts as Dravidians. It's not always recommended. Sometimes against certain civs it might not be ideal. Just gonna... just so you know. Oh, it's open there! Shit! What is up? Go there! Not that hard. Actually, this goes. Scary. I need fetching at some point. See, now we're gonna deal with this perfectly fine because we have so many farms to uh, give us food, which is very important in today's Age of Empires games. Um, I still think these games are very good for me. Because these are the situations that I need to get used to. See, I deleted those pallet side walls again. Even though in theory I don't have to delete them there. They don't necessarily hinder my performance per se. In any noticeable way. Well, maybe I just can't really explain it. Just debating, man. Relax. Not sure about his follow up, though. Because in some ways you cannot really go wrong with skirms. So we can just keep the pressure on here. Oh, I didn't do fletching. Shit. Oh, 
that hurts a little bit. But still, since we have such a healthy farming setup, as I've talked about, we're completely fine. That's what this game is all about. Healthy farming setup. What is wrong with you? Hola guapo Need some masterpieces again to regain street cred We'll get there Soon I need some scrums himself See and I have scouts It's like it's just all line aligned The stars are aligning Right my scrums attack faster, so it's going to be hard for him to get the tower up. Ay, ay, ay. Could this be going any better? Guess I'm a little bit scared of a counter attack here. There was the gap. Oh, he almost lost the villager. Let's go Castledge. I've had enough of this. Cat and mouse game. Um, oh, I have so many resources. What do I want to play, though, in Castle Age? Where did he go, by the way? I feel like my tech tree is so limited. The infantry. I might actually be making infantry here. That's the AV4 hotkey to make an archery range. You live and you learn. Okay, we know he's down there, so we might be able to cut him off. Why does it take them so long to get some old income? I'm making archers! Oh my god. <laughs> um. Let's just say we're making some mistakes. Why do they group up? What's my unique unit again? It's the swordsman, right? Yeah, the Rami. Rami swordsman. That's what I'm a little bit worried about, getting, just dying to his castlage timing. Luckily, he doesn't have next switch by the looks of it. And he kind of lost his whole army. Because he got up as well. So that's also quite convenient for me. I have to say. I don't really want to build a tower. He did a tower though, so he might be very old in here. He did make a knight. Makes me a little bit more concerned. You know what? Screw it. I'm going without it. I'm going with the towerless approach. I did waste some stone there, which isn't great, but... Show me the manga now, I'm ready! Oh, 
Who would have thought being walled is a good idea? Where's Lefty going? I don't know. Haven't seen him in a long time. And why are those still on control group 2? They're not supposed to be there. Did I do a market? I didn't know. Thanks, Scorpions. Elephant Archers, do it you want. Well, I'm doing it. But <laughs> How good of an idea it is, is a whole different story. Mm. Yeah, I know he sent those archers there. Not sure if he has ballistics. It's something that'll definitely help me. Okay, we did clean that up. Definitely losing villagers. The question is just, did he lose enough to the point where it's now a closer game? I don't know. The question is also, is he actually on one TC? I don't think so. so. I think we're in a pretty rough spot. <laughs> Woodlines. Just that's the closest we get to a decent woodline around here. Not a weird mangano. Where's my long term composition or even? I guess I have to I should go for those Ubami warriors. I don't, sorry, I don't remember what they're called. I guess that is a good comp for me long term. I think as well if I had ballistics in this instant around the uh, uh, town center, it would have been really good for me around his castle drop. Doesn't have upgrades. Oh, he has TCs as well. We're super dead. How are they so inaccurate? Holy smokes. Wow. 
I'm not sure what's our comeback tool here, if there is any. Probably been on three TCs for a while as well. Maybe we just took too much damage to sneak attacks in the opening. <laughs> Reminded me to check my population count. Oh yeah, tweaking those skirms. I need more mangonels, I think. What other units do I make here? I guess, yeah, I guess my end goal is the, the swordsman. I think that's what we have to aim for. Uh, I know you're brave villagers, but you're not supposed to go there. I don't think I want to fight the skirms. Score isn't too far apart to the point where it's impossible to come back. But what we're afraid of now is a uh, possible imp timing for him. I do have ballist, uh, not ballistics, that's not the word I was looking for. Thumb ring. With this sieve. Those raids do hurt. Do I have Arblast? I do have Arblast. Yeah, so I guess... Yeah, this game will be essentially us figuring out is the Urumi Swordsman good. That's the only chance I see us ever having coming back in this game. Is that unit just being broken. It's the only... Comeback chance I see us having. Room is good, but you have to get unique tech. Yeah, we will. We will obviously do that. I mean, with moves like this, there's always a chance. Why can't I select those? Okay, actually, they cancel that one. Three fifty. We can do that. That castling coming for him. How expensive are they? Sixty-five twenty. Okay, we need Furiko. We need Furiko. I don't. I can't keep track of all my units. 
Almost a double kill. Guess next question now is pretty much finding out how good this unit is. Welcome back to you too, thank you. Appreciate that. Elephant, get the monk. Oh. Big sad. Oh, yeah, the. castle there but if you want to look at positives we're we're actually getting like reasonably high population but i also think we are quite fragile aren't we with our units but maybe skirmishers and arumi swordsmen are quite expensive though that's a lot of traps don't know if i will have the time to um give get my castle alive to get the units out Oh, he's just going full traps, isn't he? Don't attack yet. What's going on here? Yeah, that's a rip. I do have the elite upgrade now. So let's see. Looks like we cleaned those up pretty, pretty convincingly. Okay, moment of truth. Either we crushed this fight or we're dead. Mm, we did okay, but I think we're too far behind positionally anyway. I think the Urami Swordsman and Skirms could possibly be a good matchup here. Or good army for this situation. By the looks of it. I'm just suffering too much economically and positionally. Uh, you don't need to set the. You don't need to click the save emblem to see. You guys are talking about the hover over. I know about that one. I just I have it disabled because I don't like it. I thought about forfeiting your spot in A4 Rebel. Oh. Why would I do that? <laughs> I have a question. How did you solve the problem with missing files such as Vice or Rajas deal? Never had a problem. But you lost the grasp in the game, just Vikings equal. You were going pretty well. No, I lost when he got the... Uh, first of all, he got his extra thesis up way faster. But I lost the games when he made the sneak attacks on my base. I mean, I never walled my base, right? Um, and it was a fairly open map, though. I'm not sure how I could have walled it. Because I had a gold on the front. Super open, whole front side. Woodland in the back, woodland in the back here. I guess I would have to wall here and here to secure this side first. And then, I don't know how I would secure my front side. We would have to do some very committing walls. But I'm not at the stage right now where walling helps me. 
uh, walling this just how to say it. right now the best thing for me is to have things happen and walling prevents that 